Fans praise Spencer Hawes and John Brockman as two of the greatest recruits in the history of Husky basketball. So I came down to have a chat with these two UW superstars. They're part of a very young team, but freshman Hawes and sophomore Brockman say they learned from the best. Definitely B-Roy, um, Mike, Bobby, Jamal, all those guys did a great job of showing us kind of what Husky basketball is really, what it's really all about and how we do things around here. And as captain of the team, Brockman truly understands the Husky spirit. The main thing Husky basketball is is just hard work um, and energy at all times. Haas, who turned down North Carolina to play for Washington, knows the limelight well, but also credits the older guys for some good advice. You have to remember what you can do and just play the best of your abilities and, and don't get caught up in the hype or, or the negative attention. Don't, don't let any of it go to your head. That's probably the biggest thing they say. Compared to last year's team, which made it to the Sweet 16, the Huskies have struggled this season, especially away from home. You know, we're just focused on, on the road, especially. we got to come out and get good starts. So we struggle with that and then finishes as well. You know, we think we played pretty well in the middle, but the starts and the finishes are something that's kind of plagued us. Still, Haas holds the UW freshman record for blocked shots and is the top scorer on the Huskies. Brockman is tied with Quincy Pondexter for the single game high point total, scoring 25 points twice this season. It's fun being able to see people and have them tell you on campus, you know, good game or good luck tonight, um, you know, and it's just really, it's fun being able to wear Washington across your shirt and, you know, be proud of, be proud to wear purple and gold. And just Their coach, Lorenzo Romar, is another source of pride for both players. I mean, it's great. He's a tough guy. He demands a lot, but he also, he gets the most out of you. And Romar knows how to relax, too. You can text message him a joke and he'll send you one back or he'll be the one sending one to you. Um, so it's, he's just a real fun guy. Not so fun. Injuries and a bad case of the flu gave Haas some trouble this season. But for now, he's confident. We, started, we got a couple wins under our belt. So I think right now it's kind of a highlight knowing that we, we think we're going in the right direction. Of course, the question on every fan's mind, what will happen when the NBA comes knocking? You know, I love school, I love basketball, I love the fans, I love, you know, I love everything about it, so I'm not, I'm not leaving anytime soon. It has not been decided. I'll wait and see before I make, you know, before I make, my, make up my mind. Even though Haas won't confirm his plans for next year, both these guys make one thing clear. They have a lot of love and respect for this program. Reporting from Heck Ed Pavilion, I'm Marissa McQuilkin for the Daily Videocast.